Okay, here we have another sample problem. So it says a solenoid has length L and inner diameter uh, D. It carries a current I. It consists of five closed plant layers, uh, each with 850 turns along length L. What is B as, uh, at the center? Okay, so here, uh, yeah, actually this is a solar noise, so we may just make use of uh, B equals mu zero I times small m. Okay, so actually mu zero is uh, 4 pi times 10 to negative 7. And then times I, I is uh, this one, 5.57. And then times N is, um, yeah, so we have five close pack layer and then uh, equal 850 turns. And then the length is this one. So the small N should be five times 850 and then over 1.25. Uh, so this is small n. So in that case, uh, this is uh, 2.42 times 10 to negative 2 Tesla. Okay. So this is pretty simple. Okay, so next we talk about the current carrying coil as a magnetic dipole. So here it says, uh, the magnetic field produced by current current void coil, is, which is a magnetic dipole at the point P locate uh, a distance Z along the coil perpendicular to the central axis is perpendicular to the axis uh, and is given by this expression this expression okay so here this is the current current, uh, current carrying coil and actually this is actually the same as a uh, magnetic bar like this so you can have either have this current current coil or the magnetic bar the b field the b field line will be like this okay so the only difference is that oh, this is the current current coil and then the magnetic bar is uh, actually perpendicular to this plane uh, and place at the center of the circle. Okay, so this is the expression, and this expression look, uh, looks familiar. So in chapter 22, chapter 22, when we derive the electric uh, field generated by the electric dipole, so the expression looks like this. So we have a 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, uh, 2 P over Z cube. Okay, so this is the electric dipole. This is the Z axis and here uh, This is the Z axis. Ah, this is the Z axis. So here also we can only have the expression of the B field along the Z axis So let me just uh, copy it to the previous page so we have a E field equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times uh, 2p over c cube. Or maybe we can just cancel this 2 and this 4. So it becomes 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught times p over c cube. Okay, so here you can see this one and this one are so similar. Are so similar. So, so they are so-called the duality. Duality. Okay. So here we just need to exchange E field with the B field, and then we change epsilon naught to one over mu naught, and then we also change P to the mu. So this is. Uh, electric dipole this is magnetic dipole and then yeah and then this one will become this one so that's why uh, epsilon naught is at the de denominator and then mu naught is at the numerator
Okay, so next uh, we try to place the um, current current coil in the uh, in the magnetic field in the magnetic field. Okay, so here we have two ways in which we can regard a current current coil as a magnetic dipole. So the first one is that it experiences a torque when we place it in an external magnetic field. So this is magnetic bond, the north pole and the south pole. And then it generates a B field pointing to the right side, approximately uh, uniform uh, inside this area. Okay, so uh, here we try to put the um, current carrying coil uh, between, between the magnetic bar so that uh, there will be a torque uh, uh, acting on the, on the coil. So you can see that, for example, this current is going to the uh, bottom, bottom left. This is the uh, current going to the bottom left. Oh, this is the current going to the top right. This is I, this is I. Okay, so if you still remember, uh, we have uh, F equals I times uh, L cross B. So in chapter 28, we have uh, this expression. This is uh, another version of the Lorentz force. So actually, this is, this is L, and then L cross B. B is pointing to the right side, so L cross B is pointing upward. So we have the force acting, uh, pointing to the uh, uh, pointing to the top for this wire, and for the right one, the L vector point to that side. So L cross B, L cross B, L cross B is pointing downward. So we have an F pointing downward. So in that case, we have we have a torque rotating like this. Okay, so here we have a torque equals NIA, if you still remember, this is mu, which is mu B times sine of theta. So NIA is mu, B is B. And if we try to write it in the vector form, it is nothing but tau equals mu cross B. Okay. So in that case, for this one, uh, the current is uh, counterclockwise. So using right hand rule, you use a forefinger for this direction. Your thumb is pointing up. So in that case, the mu is pointing upwards. So in that case, mu cross B, mu pointing upward, and then B point to the right side. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, so the torque is pointing into the page. The torque is pointing into the page. So it also follows the right hand rule. You use a fourth, uh, you use a thumb, follow the direction of the, of the torque. Then your forefinger will follow the direction of the rotation. Okay, so this is the first, first point it mentioned. So it's experience a torque when we place it in an external magnetic field. And then the second one is that it generates own intrinsic magnetic field given for a distant point along uh, its axis. Okay, so it generates the uh, uh, E-field lines uh, similar to, to, the, to the magnetic bar. Okay, so this is the derivation of, of this formula. And here we try to use the Biot-Zappa law. Okay, so use the Biot-Zappa law. So actually, okay, so this is, this is the, uh, this is the, okay, so this is something like this. This is something like this. And then this is the z-axis. Okay, so this is, just a cross section, so you only see a line. But actually, uh, yeah, so this this point is actually this point, 
and then this point is actually this point. So we still have a this segment and also this segment. Okay, so we try to determine the B field at point P. So we have B equals integration of D B parallel. So let's see what does it mean. So for this one, for this DS, okay, this is P. So R is actually this one from DS to P. And then this is R hat. This is R hat, which is the unirector in this direction. R DS is pointing out of the page, follows the direction of the current. So in that case, uh, if you still remember the Bayer-Safer law, which is uh, dB equals this constant multiply I, I is the current, and then dS cross R hat over R square. Okay, so first of all, we need to determine the direction of the B at point P, which is actually dS cross R hat. dS is pointing out of the page, and then R is pointing to the uh, well, something like this. So this is dS and then cross to R. So your d, 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 d is pointing to that side. So you, you have a, a yeah. dS, dS pointing out of the page and then cross to R. So your thumb point to that side. So this is dB. Okay. And then, yeah, we can just decompose it. This dB along this axis and also this axis. So for this dB uh, perpendicular, it will be cancelled with this one. So for this one, this one, dS is pointing into the page, and then D and then R hat is pointing to that side. So dB is pointing dB is pointing to this side for for this one. So by symmetric, uh, this is dB perpendicular. This is uh, dB parallel. So in that case, uh, this one will cancel with this one. So we don't need to count uh, dB uh, perpendicular. We only need to count dB parallel, which means that uh, we have a uh, B equals integration of dB parallel. Okay. So in that case, um, dB parallel is this one times this one times this one and then times cosine of alpha. Alpha is the angle between uh, dS and, and R. So this is the angle between them. Okay, so in that case, uh, yeah. We need to uh, do some substitution. So first of all, uh, we have R equals square root of R square, capital R square plus Z square. So let's see, this is capital R. This is capital R. This should be a known value. This is small r, but this is not a known value. The known value is Z. Z is yeah, the distance from this point to the to the center of the coil. So this is known value. So in that case, we need to express R in terms of Z and capital R, which is something like this, according to the Pythagoras, uh, Pythagoras theorem. And then cosine of alpha, cosine of alpha, this is angle of alpha, and then cosine of alpha is uh, capital R over small r. Small r is actually this one. So we have capital R over these square root terms. Um, yeah, so this is cosine of alpha. So we need to put this one and this one into here. So in that case, cosine of alpha, we have a square root of this, and then r square, we have, a, we have the inside terms. So all together, we have this term to the three over two power. And then on the top, we have capital R. And then still have ds, and then mu zero i, and then four pi. So we come to these parts, and then we can just plug in this one into here. 
So we have, uh, uh, yeah, all of them are all of them are constant to ds. So we can just put all the things out. So integration of ds for a circle, which is nothing but two pi r. So actually, this one is nothing but two pi uh, capital R. So this pi and this pi will cancel this two and will cancel this four down to two. And then this R, multiply by this R, will become R squared. So we have this expression. And then similar to, uh, to this one, we also assume that z is much larger than d, or in this case, z is much larger than capital R. So in that case, z is much larger than capital R. Then we can just ignore this term. So we only have a c cube in the denominator. So originally, the expression is like this, but we can also um, express these things uh, in terms of the magnetic dipole which means that uh, mu is actually n times i times uh, a here of course when we try to derive this equation we only assume that n is 1 but we can just uh, make it like uh, n equals 1 so it is like i times a and for a, a this is a circle, so a is nothing but pi r squared. So this is mu. So and here we can see we have i r squared without the pi. So we need to multiply pi and then divide pi at the same time. So this is a. Uh, this is i times a, which is mu. So here we have mu zero times mu, and then over two pi times c cubed. So in that case, this expression will look like this one, will look like this one. Okay, so yeah, so next we have, we have two, two uh, additional examples to finish off this chapter. So the first one, uh, two circular arc have radii A and B substand angle theta. So this is theta. Uh, carrying current I and then share the same center of curvature P. What are the magnitude direction of the net magnetic field at P? Okay, so we consider the B field at this point. So we can quickly verify that for this one and this one, it will generate no E field, uh, sorry, no B field at point P. Yeah, because this uh, line is actually uh, extend to this point. So it won't generate any B field at this point. So the only two segments will generate B field at point P is actually this one and also this one. And then actually the I is going in this direction. So um, so B, uh, yeah, for part A, B is nothing but mu zero I theta over two pi B minus mu zero I theta over two pi A. Okay, so you can simply imagine that uh, this, for this part, uh, yeah, it corresponds to the first term. So, and B is smaller than A. So in this case, this term is larger than this one. So the overall is a positive value. Okay, so which means that uh, this one will determine the direction of the B field. So using the, um, right hand rule you use your forefinger follow this direction you use a forefinger to follow this direction your thumb will be pointing out of the page so we can directly go to the uh, final part uh, the b field is going out of the page okay i just i just mentioned that uh, we can use right hand rule to determine the direction of point P 
So the way I just mentioned is that uh, you use a forefinger follows this current and then a thumb pointing out of the page. Okay, so this is the first way. And then the second way is that this is the current. You can also use your thumb follow the direction of the uh, current. And then your forefinger at this point will be going out of the page. It is something like this, and then, okay, here it's going out of the page. This is the second way to use the right hand rule. So if you are very familiar with the right hand rule, then yeah. Uh, yeah, the, it is not so unique to determine the B field using right hand rule. Okay, so let's go back to part A. So here we can just simply, uh, yeah, maybe we can do some uh, factorization first. Uh, so we have a mu zero times i times theta over two pi and then times one over b minus one over a. And then we can just plug in all the values. So mu zero is four pi times 10 to minus seven. So partly cancel with this one, we have two times 10 to minus seven and then times i is uh, 0 0.411 and then times theta is 74 degree in in degree so we should change it to radian so 7.74.0 uh, degree and then times pi over 180 degree and then times 1 over b, 1 over 0 0.107 minus 1 over 0 0.135, like this. Okay, so finally, this is uh, 1.02 times 10 to minus 7 Tesla. Okay, this is the answer. Any questions? Okay, so this is the final uh, addition example for this chapter. So here it says uh, a long circular pipe, a long circular pipe with outside radius capital R carries a uniform distributed current I into the page, into the page. So this one, this one. Okay, so a wire runs uh, parallel to the pipe at the distance of a three R from the center to the center. Okay, so here we have an other wire. We have an other wire. So find magnitude and direction into or out of the page of the current in the wire such that the net magnetic field at point P here has the same magnitude as the net magnetic field at the center of the pipe, which means this point, but it's in, in opposite direction. So we we would try to find uh, the, the magnitude and direction of the current of this wire, whether it's going out or going in, and how large it is, to make the B field at this point and also this point, this one and this one, have the same magnitude of B field, but in opposite direction. Okay, so... <coughs> Okay, so here we try to assume the current is I W, oh, W stands for wire, and we also assume uh, this current is going out. Uh, we assume I W is uh, going out of the page. Okay, so you may ask uh, whether this assumption is important. Uh, I, I would say it is. Uh, I, I would say no. Uh, yeah. So if you assume correctly, then you will find the answer to be positive. Then everything is fine. And if you just assume uh, a an incorrect direction, then finally the amplitude will be a negative number. Then you you will uh, recognize that or oh, the. The current, the type, the direction of the current is the other way around. Okay, so 
here we assume IW is going out of the page. So first we try to determine BC, which is the uh, B at this point. Uh, B at this point. Okay, so this is uh, mu zero IW. So the first, this one will generate a B view here. This is going out of the page. Okay, this is going off the page. So using right hand rule, your thumb pointing out of the page, so your forefinger will be something like this. Will be something like this. So this, uh, it generates a B view pointing to the right side at point C. Okay. So this is a uh, mu zero i mu i over two pi r. So two pi. Actually, R is 3 capital R, 3 capital R, from this point to here, so all together, 3 R here. Okay, and for this pipe, it will generate nothing at the center, so we have a plus 0, we have plus 0, uh, and then we don't have any other thing to generate, uh, to generate B view. So this is pretty much it. And then we also can calculate BP, which is the B at this point, point P. Okay, so for the wire, for the wire, it is similar, which is a mu zero IW over two pi. Here, we only have a single capital R. And then for this, uh, for this one, for this one uh, yeah so you can just regard it as a as a single wire although it is hollow the 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 point is hollow that it it generate nothing e field inside uh, nothing b field inside the inside the inside this uh, pipe but it will still generate b field outside so in that case uh, mu zero iw minus uh, mu zero i, so here we have we have i on this, we have i, we have i, uh, going uh, in this in this pipe, and then minus uh, over, I mean over uh, two pi times, so from center to center it is two capital R, so we have two capital R here. So this is BP. So the point here is that uh, BC, it is going pointing to the right side. And then also uh, for the first term of BP generated by this wire, this term is pointing to the right side. So here we assume right side is positive. And then here, this is going into the page. This is going into the page. So here, this is pointing to the. Sorry, uh, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to the right side. This is going to the right side. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so yeah. And then here we, we would like to consider that uh, BC and BP are pointing to the opposite side, which means that BC should be negative BP, negative BP. So in this case, we have uh, this one is um, mu zero i w over six pi r, and then equals uh, okay with a negative sign. So we have uh, this one first. We have a uh, mu zero i over four pi r, and then minus mu zero i w over 2 pi r okay so uh, we can do some uh, can, uh, simplification this one and this one so we can just move this one over um, <clears throat> so this is one half plus one six which is two thirds times uh, mu zero i w over six pi r equals uh mu zero mu zero i over four pi r over four pi r so we can cancel most of the stuff so mu zero and mu zero can be cancelled and then pi and pi can be cancelled uh ah oh, sorry we don't have a six here and then we can also cancel uh, we can also cancel out so finally uh, finally uh, we have so finally we have i equals here is 4 so we move it over so finally we have uh, 8 over 3 ma Ah, ah, I'm right. I'm right. So this one, this one should be should be positive. This one should be positive because just now when we when I consider the direction, BC, BC is uh, at this point generated by the wire. This is pointing to the right side, so this is positive. And then BP, BP, this term is also generated by the wire to here. So this is also pointing to the right side, so this is also positive. And then for this one, this is going into the page. So um, the B field generated at point P by this pipe should also be pointing to the right side. So it should also be positive. And in that case, here we have a negative sign here. We have a negative sign here. So finally, we have a negative A over 3. VDA. So in that case, we just assume the incorrect answer, which means that uh, the IW should be going into the page. So yeah. So this is for part B. The current IW is uh, into the page. Into the page. Okay, so if at the very beginning we assume that IW is going uh, into the page, then we will have a negative sign here and here, and then finally we will get a positive answer. Okay, and then we show that all oh, the current is going into the page. So, so far, any questions?